The coffee is black, the Stegosaurus is frisky, the old robot is just kicking up a storm, and I'd like to welcome you to June the 14th, Saturday, uh, Modeling Blog Daily, uh, a daily rant that uh, old Bill has where he, I just rant, <laughs> whatever I want to talk about. And today I'm going to talk about uh, Lego and Kenex gears. Uh, if you watched any of my videos, you probably know that I am really interested in gears. Yeah, I, I want to show you exactly what got me interested in gears. Uh, this model, uh, I built this model uh, about two, uh, two plus years ago. Uh, it's one of the larger uh, technique models. Uh, I'll eventually finish it and I'll eventually tell you what it is, but I'm not going to tell you what it is right now but it is a spectacular model. They have gears all over the place. I mean, everything, uh, it's wonder. It's a wonder to behold. Uh, gears that turn, I mean, all kinds of sizes, and it kind of looks like a clockwork uh, with all uh, the, the guts and everything is gears. Uh, I built this thing up and uh, basically was so taken with the uh, the internals of the model that I decided I wasn't going to finish it. I was just going to admire it. <laughs> so I've been admiring it for several years and I have left it in the unfinished state. Eventually what I'm going to do is tear it down and rebuild it, uh, rebuild it from the fresh uh, and finish the model. But this is the, the one um, Lego uh, set, the technique set that did get me interested in gears. I mean, did you ever see anything quite like it? It's, it's, it's all gears. It's a, it's a big mechanism of gears. Well, that led to, uh, uh, eventually I, I started dabbling in the uh, uh, Mindstorm stuff and, 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 uh, and then eventually got into electronics and I built my blinky eyes. You know, I was building up, I had my uh, a marble contraption, uh, and I was kind of adding things around my roller coaster. So I had, I, I built uh, with electronic projects, Blinky Eyes, the Rudolph, the Bells, and then the Tour de Force was this uh, magnificent atom smasher. Uh, one of the projects along the way was this uh, strobe light by uh, uh, Elnico Electronics. Wonderful kit. And I did a video on it, and you can go and watch it. It's quite a, an elaborate video, and one of the better ones that I've ever done. Uh, well, when I did the strobe, uh, the strobe, uh, that robot's kicking again, the strobe uh, had to have uh, a, a method for me to demonstrate it. So, I, I mean, I, I wanted to turn the lights off and, and show you how a strobe worked, you know, for the kids. So one thing led to another, and I decided I needed to have a high-revolution RPM uh, motor. Well, that got me into the Kenex. Um, I built the roller coaster, uh, so I knew all about the Kenex stuff. Uh, so the, the, one of the first major uh, projects that I ever did with Kenex of my own design was uh, what I call this gear accelerator. And, and basically what it does, it takes uh, uh, the RPM of a slow speed motor and it ramps up the speed to a very high RPM. Um, and I very deliberately did it uh, so that I could demonstrate, turn off the lights, <laughs> And turn on the strobe and uh, and, and sink in. Uh, no, I'm not going to turn the lights off now. But you, I, I could sink in on on this model and and show you how it works at speed. It's going around 2,400 RPMs right there. It's a, uh, a very, very high speed, considering you're going from a slow speed motor, one ramp up, two ramp up, three ramp up, and that's about 
the limit of the technology for what you can do. Well, when you turn off the lights, guys, and you turn on the strobe, uh, you, you can't tell during the day, but you can get the idea that it really does work, just like the, uh, the timing belt on the car, the way you, you, know, you, you adjust the timing on the car with the strobe. Uh, well, yeah, that's the same principle. And that's, that's what led me to build this uh, wonderful, magnificent model. And, uh, and, 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 and so you can see when last night I did this, uh, what I call a Kenex psychedelic thing, I turned out the lights. If you haven't seen the video, you got to see the video. I got Queen knocking butt on that video uh, to the psychedelic uh, uh, light out situation. I used two light ups and I had uh, a uh, the the outside light up is going slow in one direction and the inside is going fast in the other direction. Well, what I intend on doing guys is expanding on this even more even more uh, not today or tomorrow. I'll do it in a week or two. I don't know. I'm going to leave this build up because I'm going to cook the idea. But uh, what I'm going to do is add a yellow gear, a big yellow gear, right here in the front. I'll extend this shaft out. I'm going to build up another light ups. Yeah, I got, I got four of these suckers. <laughs> so I'm going to add another light ups in the front, but I'm not going to have him. Uh, up in the air like this. I want to have them kind of pointed in. Pointed in. So when you're looking at this thing you can see everything in the middle going real fast. Going slow, going fast. So it's really going to be a striking... It's going to knock you out guys. <laughs> you watch that thing uh, and, and you're going to go wacko. <laughs> Anyhow, you can you can see where I get my background interest in the gears and why I really do uh, like the gearing kind of systems. It's because of the all the wonderful models that I built in the past, uh, Lego uh, and Canex. Uh, in particular, Canex has the uh, the capability of doing some magnificent gearing because of this wonderful large gear. Anyhow. Bill and Red <laughs> having absolutely too much fun on a Saturday. One wishing you and yours a wonderful day ahead. Hey guys, my robot says, Sayonara, friend. <laughs>